you've got to be prepared for the point two, three, four weeks in to really suck. Because you haven't got fitness yet. It's not coming at a great rate, but you're tired. That's where I am right now. Hello, welcome to the Pyrenees. Today is day one of resuming structured training with Train Shop Cycle Coaching. So up to now I've had three weeks of sort of unstructured riding, just turning the legs over, get myself going, test myself full gas up Lozada Den. That's at my current FTP of 260, which is surprisingly high after five months off and just two weeks back riding at the time. Today, Chris McNamara of Train Sharp has sent me one hour 45, zone two, simple session, straightforward, just uh, starting to extend the ride a bit. And uh, you know, zone two is, it's like, it's the bread and butter of just about every type of training plan. So my heart rate's in the 130s. And uh, yeah, tapping up Gorge Luz. Absolutely beautiful day to be out. This is one of those really hard days that I anticipated in the first episode of this vlog and said I wanted to share because uh, it's useful for everyone to know about and yeah, this, uh, this vlog is supposed to be honest insight into clawing my way back from having lost all my fitness lows as well as the highs right so I'm three weeks in and uh, what that means is I haven't really had time to build much fitness but I've absolutely had time to build some fatigue. Training adaptation to take around two weeks in response to whatever the stimulus is, whatever the training is that you've done. You know, if you do a, if you do some functional overreaching effort, you know, say you're fit and you do a five hour Grand Fondo and you ride it really hard. It's a big training stress. And once you've recovered, uh, 10 days or two weeks later you'd expect to get a good boost off of that the thing is what I was doing two three weeks ago was just getting going there's no significant training stress so I'm not building fitness at any kind of rate but because it's difficult relative to where my fitness is now I am building fatigue You've got to be prepared for the point two, three, four weeks in to really suck. Because you haven't got fitness yet. It's not coming at a great rate, but you're tired. That's where I am right now. So midway through month one, back in training. Uh, today was a real staple session that uh, pretty much any coach in the world is likely to give you Certainly as a favorite of train sharp cycle coaching uh, Big gear leg strength stuff so um, Between 50 and 60 rpm at uh, around threshold power for five minutes uh, The way train sharp set it first week you do three reps of five minutes next week is four reps and so on and so on Threshold in the last test was 260 watts I'm anticipating a good bump by the next test, so uh, I did these reps at between 290 and 300. So, a proper good workout. And yeah, just look, give a look at all this. Another absolutely banging day in the Pyrenees. So, it's now two and a half weeks since my first baseline test of Lozada Den, and in some areas, uh, I've seen some great progress. Others not so much. The most frustrating thing at the moment is uh, is weight loss. So uh, I started using my fitness pal again to uh, to track my calorie intake, uh, my macronutrients. 
and, and do, doing that as a way of making sure that I'm actually consuming what I think I'm consuming and I, I am. I'm creating a significant calorie deficit and, uh, and my weight's not budging and I'm really stumped by that. For now, keep doing what I'm sure are the right things and you're hoping there's some sort of breakthrough. You know, the discipline's there, there's absolutely no cheating. There's no cheat day, there's no cheat meal, there's not a single cheat snack. On the flip side, uh, the power of the fitness now feels like it's flooding back. Earlier in this video when I said I was so tired, I was three weeks into training at that point, it's now a bit over five. Um, then uh, I'd built up loads of fatigue, uh, but I wasn't getting the benefit yet of the training. I did a, a full gas 20 minute effort during a training session on Tuesday um, and recorded 295 watts for 20 minutes. Uh, which would give me a sort of theoretical FTP of I think 283, which is 23 watts up on what I did at Blue Island then. Uh, it was 16 days or something before that. Uh, so yeah, that, that that's really fast progress, um, and it's only really possible when you're getting back to a, a fitness you've previously had. And just in case all of this isn't motivation enough, and it is, I've been with two friends in the past week, both half wheeled the heck out of me, uh, taking the opportunity of, uh, of me not being in great shape. Um, and uh, and one of them just tried to, to drop me and put as much hurt on me as possible, which was which was great, um, because now I'm hyper motivated to uh, get super fit again, engage beast mode, and uh, and get some payback in the nicest possible, friendliest way. So uh, yeah, anytime it's hurting and you think you can't squeeze out one more rep, one more effort, one more minute, then uh, yeah, find yourself something like that to tap into, get it done. Hey, so we're back on top of Lozada Den. Today is just part of my uh, long steady ride for the week. Mix of sort of zone one, two, three, just uh, one and two in the valleys and um, zone three on the climbs. The best support I have is from my coach, Chris McNamara at Train Sharp. First of all, I want to say get well soon, Chris. He was knocked off by a van and has broken his shoulder just at the start of his race season, which is a nasty injury and horrible timing. Now, Chris has kindly sent me uh, some notes on what we're trying to achieve in this first month of training. Uh, and this goes for anyone watching as well. Here's Chris's message. This first block of work for Jamie was all about getting him back into a nice structured training routine. The focus is on building strength on the bike and aerobic endurance. Intensity is moderate at this point as we want to build with a nice smooth progression. The key sessions are the zone 3 low cadence leg strength intervals and the low cadence hill reps. During these keeping good form on the bike is important. We want the upper body as still as possible with a focus on a smooth pedal stroke. There's no need to go too hard in this first block. Low zone 4 on the hill reps is perfect. A good way to think of this work is as laying the foundation for the harder work to come. We back these sessions up with steady zone 1 and 2 endurance miles. See you next time when we're going full gas up Lozada Den.